Hi, I'm Terry from Lacrosse Technology, and this is the WS9153 uh, TWC. TWC simply meaning it's branded for the Weather Channel. Um, when you open the package, uh, you'll see, find the sensor, the display unit, and you want to remove the protective surface coating from the display unit. The first thing we do is uh, set up our sensor. Uh, to set it up, all we need to do is remove the battery door. We can take the mounting clip off if we want. And we're going to put a pair of fresh Alkaline AA batteries in there, uh, preferably a name brand battery. And you want to look for dating, take the current year, add six. And that should be the oldest battery you use. Uh, now that we have it powered up, for initial start, we're going to move it three to five feet away and turn our attention to the display unit itself. Uh, the display, we press the tab up toward the battery door and it rolls up. Uh, again, we're looking at fresh alkaline batteries. We put those batteries in and we'll close that door and the unit will initially show everything lit up and then it will show uh, just some basic data packaging and start to go to work. It will come up at midnight. It will come out in the first of the uh, month. It's looking for the outdoor sensor. When that's flashing, it's found it now. It's locking on to the signal. You'll notice we have outdoor temperature showing, indoor temperature and humidity. Little smiley face. Uh, it's a uh, comfort meter. If the uh, humidity is above 40 and uh, below 75, and if the temperature is within range, it says this is comfortable and it uh, turns on the smiling face. Outside of those ranges, the frowning face comes on. The unit has a th uh, three icon forecast. Uh, after it's been operational for three days or so, it will start to give you a fairly accurate forecast. Uh, the three icons, uh, this icon is just showing partly cloudy. Uh, the uh, second icon is just the sunshine, and that's showing that uh, you're expecting clear skies. And the third icon is just the rain cloud, or just the clouds with rain underneath them. And that's showing that uh, we're expecting deteriorating weather conditions that might go to rain. You'll also find uh, arrows on the right and left, up and down. Um, after the unit's been operating for a bit, uh, those will start to operate up, means that the pressure is increasing. Increasing pressure generally means uh, to look for good weather or better weather. Uh, the down arrow is going to show that uh, pressure is decreasing. Generally, when pressure decreases, we expect weather conditions to deteriorate. To set the time on this unit, we use the set and the in buttons. We press and hold the set button until we see LCD5. The LCD simply tells us that we can darken or lighten the backgrounds. We press a second time, it's showing us the time zone. Minus five is the east coast, minus, and uh, minus four is going to Atlantic time. Pressing the button takes us through the time zones. Um, the American time zones, minus five for the east coast, minus six for central time, minus seven mountain time, minus eight is Pacific time. We'll leave this in mountain time. Press our set button again. DST stands for daylight savings time. DST1 means that the clock will look for a daylight savings time signal and adjust to it. If you live in an area without DST, you turn that off. We'll leave it turned on. Uh, pressing the set button once again. RCC on means that it's going to be radio controlled. Set the time automatically. If you wish, the in button will turn that off. We press again, we're in a 12 hour mode. We can go to 24 hour military time if we wish, in which case the date shows in the opposite direction, day first and then month. We'll leave it in 12 hour. Pressing once again, the time is flashing. We can, uh, we can manually set the time using the in and out buttons. Pressing the set button again has a flashing year. By pressing the in button, we can adjust to the correct year. Press the set button once again. The month and date are flashing. The in button changes the month. The out button changes the date. Pressing set once again. And we have a snooze alarm, 10 minute snooze alarm if you decide to use the alarm clock function. 
and pressing the set button once again shows us we're in degrees Fahrenheit. The end button allows us to change to degrees Celsius. And press the set button once again. Forecast tendency is 2. 85% of the country is going to use 2. Uh, if you're near the ocean, uh, right on the shorelines, you're going to typically use 1. Folks in the desert are going to typically use 3. And that is controlled with the end button. After a few seconds, the system goes back to normal. It's completely set up and operating. This system also can be set up with multiple outdoor sensors. The, the remote outdoor sensor can be used indoors or outdoors. You can set up up to three sensors and monitor different locations either indoors or outdoors or both.